well, hello, I am Diego Liserazo. This is the second video of today, and uh, this is going to be, I think, the last video to round up what is our tower defense. That doesn't mean that I'm going to stop the series, it just means that with this you could have an almost finished uh, tower defense. Perhaps you can improve on it, and that's going to be the idea of the following videos. But the entire point is that if you download um, many of the things, many of the files that you're going to have up to this point, you should be able to uh, have your own video, your own video game, and in this case it's going to be a tower defense game. So right now I'm going to show you what we have so far. Um, so here we should have it. So in the last few videos I, had, I added the score, added the money that we're going to receive every time that we destroy an enemy, and we added a system with lives that uh, decrease every time that an enemy is able to reach the goal that is over here. With that, you should be able to just go back to your uh, event sheet and tweak lots of things like the number of lives, um, the, the bonus that you're going to receive. Uh, we are going to also be able to change the, number, the, the money that you start with, the, well, the, the, the waves for the enemies, so you have a lot of control so far. But if you really think about a, a full game, usually you have something like a, a start screen. You have a, well, a game over that I think we added over here. Uh, you have the chance to have like a small details that you are not having right now. So to help you with that, um, I'm going to share with you a small template that I have here that I've been using with most of my games. And this one uh, was a template that was taken from the forums, the zero forums, and I've modified it, I worked on it, uh, I've been improving on it, and I think it's time to, to share it. So we are going to see what, what it looks like in a second. And you can download it from this link. So you just have to go here to this link. So bit.ly generic template. And you can use it for basically almost any game that you want. Uh, I didn't create the original one. I just improved on it. And, and while well, I added some things that I wanted to have on my own games, after that you can just modify it uh, and, and have your own generic template and I think it's great to have it because it's going to save you a lot of work around a normal game so just look here I hope that I remember and I'll show you again at the end of the video the other thing that I haven't been doing so much uh, in the YouTube videos is to share the links to download the files but well uh, I've been already sharing those in the uh, Zero Arcade, I've been adding in each one of them the uh, uh, CAPX file, the CAP, the CAPX file, um, and well, I guess that I'm also going to share this one. So right now, we just have to sh to download here generic template. I think the name of the file there on my OneDrive is uh, generic template 519 because today is when I share it. Um, and I'm just going to show you what this game looks like, what this template looks like. So, okay. Well, let me show it, I think, on Explorer. So, I was, so we continue using that one. So, you see, uh, you have uh, a splash screen that fades. You have a game title that you can modify. In this case, it's not center. And then you have things like already working like credits that you can put here whatever you want. This, as you can tell, this is the name that I used to uh, publish my own uh, uh, personal games, basically. And you have already the entire mechanics of going like uh, to a star screen, resume, resume, like quit the game, and then go back and, and then do pausing and do a lot of things. So, of course, it's a template, and the entire point is that you feel it. So that's what we're going to do today. I have shown in different videos, even a couple of tutorials on the Sierra, well, tutorials, and how to copy things from one project, one game project to the other. Today I'm going to try to do it live. We will see if it works. I hope it works. So uh, this is right now the level that we have on, on our game. Nothing really complicated. And it's just a, a little ball that, it, that is there that I can move the, the here. I think I'm going to actually eliminate a couple of things here uh, that I'm not going to use. 
so these events already work uh, I already have a pause game function and everything is divided in different like event sheets here so you can see that uh, the variables I'm including the event sheets that you have here so most of the uh, variables that we have are already here so but well let's 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 just start with this so I am going to go here to our original game I am going to zoom out to be able to select everything and then I'm just going to select like this okay now one of the things that you have to consider when you're copying things from one game to the other is that you have to have everything uh, on the destination game so if you also see here I'm going to have a problem and is that uh, right now the entire resolution that I was using for this game is, is much bigger but well just like copy pasting just pressing ctrl Z and ctrl V uh, I was able to get all the elements there so now if I run this this game it's going to look like this okay so I should perhaps move it up a little bit more uh, so something like this and quite likely I will have to reorganize the entire level so uh, and perhaps work also with these sizes because these are really small sizes so I'm going to work on that in a, in a second so now the other thing is that you can not only copy the graphic elements not only the uh, the things on the layout you also can copy uh, events and that's really the where most of the work is going to be so let me see we have it here so when she so I'm going to start with the variables there are some that are going to be um, duplicate so for example lives we already had one that was called live so I'm just going to uh, eliminate that one I could have gone just to the uh, this event sheet and well in this case we're saying four so I'm just even going to modify it and get it to three that's what we were talking about and we also had a score so quite likely I will have to do you see score two. So that's fine I'm going to eliminate that if you don't copy all the elements then you're going to have a hard time uh, copying um, the the events because then if you don't have something it's going to tell you that you that you cannot copy that you need all the elements so I am just going to try to copy them all uh, I don't know if that's going to be feasible but I, at least I will try Control C uh, well okay well, well, before I do that what I'm going to do is uh, make some sort of separation here just to know where I was copying everything here so this, is this separation and then from the original game that we were working on I'm going to copy here and you see that uh, there's something that I'm missing I don't know what it is uh, oh well the other things that I, that I don't have are things that are called level 2 score screen and game over so I just better go on and change them and also I'm almost certain that this one should be renamed to level without space 2 and also I'm going to rename this one well I'll leave it like that so I'm going to add layout then so it's going to be name as score screen I think and then game over mm, I'll duplicate it doesn't matter oh, okay well uh, I don't think I have it all well I should have added this manually uh, a layout so it asked me if I want with an event sheet and I'm going to say yes and this one is going to be name game over okay so now let's go back and see if I could well I think I eliminated something if I can copy this and I was able to copy them so that means that I still to be able to copy this first event I was talking somewhere about uh, level 2 and about game over so uh, that is here so I, w I was missing that that uh, element if you don't have all the elements with the same names you're not going to be able to copy that so I'm going to just copy basically everything I'm selecting here I'm using the 
a key control to select more than one or you could do it manually but that takes longer so I would just try to get them all there and hopefully I'm not missing any other element you can tell that I, we have been doing a lot of things so here 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 and here now control C or right click oh well I, I didn't do it right so I'm just going to go here control V and it copied Okay, so now we have a lot of elements uh, on our game event sheet, so a lot of things should work right away. But I'm almost certain that there is not everything that is going to be working, so I'm just going to open the level and I'm going to try to run it. And you see that uh, this one I can expect it that the aliens are not moving in their path they are not able to find their path so why is that uh, quite likely when he copied the, the entire scenario uh, the spaces in between they didn't they didn't work so well so since I also have to modify this scenario to make it like well bigger then I'm going to try to uh, move them in a way that works so I'm just going to do this. Also, uh, if you can tell the, the little enemies are too small, so 35, 49, I don't know. Let's see something that works a little better, something like this. So let's see. Uh, and Seeker, I am just going to make them that size. And then I'm just going to move them over here and move their health bars. Are going to be in this case really small but well you can modify that on your own game make them work better um, the other thing that we are going to check here is going to be the uh, obstacle to cell size well let's see if I, I can leave it like that uh, 32 let me see I want to maintain a little bit the, the, the shape the shape that, that I was having so I'm going to try with this of course the scenario is a little messed up right now but I just want to know that they are able to find their path so you see that uh, as soon as I modify the um, the path it looks that they are able to find well the, the maze they are able to find their own path and what I wanted was for this to start over here this one I'm going to make much bigger mm, this one too and after this is basically just to recreate a little bit what we had and, and to be able to get the correct the correct path that, that I want for for my game and so if you can tell like most of the problems that we're going to have here have to do with the sizes so of the paths like a space in between um, the corridors of my maze but well you see also for me it looks like they are like really like really slow so I'm going to modify that so seeker um, max speed let's say 120 mm, I also should modify for the other two that well that's that's how it goes so thumb, something like this mm. okay so at some point I wanted to so you see that I'm just fumbling a little bit around here with the things that I need uh, to make this work um, and so I want them to go like this then all the way here So I'm just going to modify it. And I'm going to be looking for the shape that I think works best for this game. So, so far, let's try with that and, and see how that goes. Okay, I guess that works. Uh, I guess I could increase this one a little bit to make them go a little bit more around but well you you can modify that so now 
how this thing works. So let's say uh, that you just go here to objects and you have a game title. So I'm just going to call it Awesome Towers. Okay. Uh, of course, you also should modify the splash screen. That you should have it also over here. Uh, splash screen. Yes, I think opacity was zero. So this there is an image there that is, that is just an image, right? So uh, that's something that uh, you should modify and put the name of your game here and whatever information you want to share. In this case, it was the name of my company that it was calling it Dream Amigos. Uh, but then you just should be able to to modify it there. Now, if I run this, I have this, and now I should have the title that is Awesome Towers. You can modify it and put there whatever you want. And after that, you just say Start, and then you have the game that you had before. So that's that's not much of a difference. So uh, why is this important? Well, because now you do have a full game that you can pause, resume. You can just say like, hey, I just want to quit. And then you can do several things here that, that you were not able to do before. Most of this is not exciting. Most of this is not really uh, interesting to, to create on your own games. But it turns out that if you want to publish your game for uh, web or for uh, uh, a mobile platform, especially like Windows Phone or Windows, then you, you need all these things. You need an intro, a page, you need credits, you need start. Uh, here I would just recommend to, to put like a cool background, something like that. So all these things are needed for your game. Otherwise you just have more like something on, on the terms of a demo, not exactly a game. But well, it's really up to you. Uh, like I said before, here is the generic template and now you saw how you could modify uh, and copy from the game that you had before to generic template. And also you can use the, this generic template basically for any kind of game that you want to do. I'm showing you on this one because it's probably the game that we have been working. But uh, at this point, you should have the basics to, to create your own tower defense. By the time that I publish this game, uh, this video, I'm sorry, on YouTube, quite likely I'm going to have a nice link to put on the description where you can download the generic template and also to download the copy paste that we did here. And I'm going to work a little bit more on this to just make it work better. So I'm just going to save it and I'm going to modify the speeds of the bosses and things like that. So I'm going to say defense, uh, well, tower, I guess, if I, tower defense, 0, 5, 19, uh, plus template. Okay, so I am going to publish this one too, and you can download it and modify it from here. And at this point, you should have almost everything that we have done before, plus the template, and so that, that is going to save you a lot of time creating your own game. Well, um, one last time, here is where you download the generic template, I'll leave it there, three more seconds, three, two, one, and this is my...